Hi, it's Chris with Bernese the Rockies. In this video, we're going to talk about what to look for when you go to adopt your new Bernese Mountain Dog puppy. Stay tuned. Welcome back. You're watching the Bernese of the Rockies YouTube channel, the place to be if you love all things Bernese Mountain Dogs. Well, today's Tuesday, which means that we're talking about burner education. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to choose a Bernese Mountain Dog puppy. And, you know, up to this point, maybe you've been researching the breed and different things, or maybe you've owned Bernese before. I mean, granted, after you found a breeder, I think that's the hardest part. And so now you're choosing a puppy. So, um, there's different ways you could choose a puppy. Of course, you could look online. Maybe you are in a location or don't have the ability to um, get a puppy within your state. And so you're looking at pictures and different things like this. Or maybe you're very blessed to be able to go to the breeder's home or facility and touch and pull and play and uh, pull their tails and <laughs> all the other fun stuff you can do with Bernese Mountain Dogs. So now I've been in the position many times where I have a family who's looking to adopt a puppy and there's only two to choose from. And so they know that whatever they don't choose is that meant to be puppy for somebody else. And so it's never, I, I mean, I love all Bernese. And so I don't believe it's one of those things where there's never a bad, you know, there's ever a bad pick, but it's one of those things where, you know, everybody can't take every dog. And so it might just be something that maybe there's just one thing that, you know, uh, one person really liked on the puppy or different things like this. Now I'll give you my number one tip. When you go to adopt a Bernese mountain dog, um, and you're able to go to the facility or the location, this is my number one tip for you. And that is the puppy choose the person. And I'll say that again, the puppy will choose the person most of the time. I mean, so if you're, you know, sitting there and, you know, all the other puppies are doing something except for one puppy, you know, that might be a sign, you know, that might be something to think, hey, you know, this puppy really seems to like me, you know, maybe I should really try to, you know, hold it and see if it, uh, if it seems like a good connection. And maybe you just look right away and one has a twinkle inside and you know that it's the one that you want. So, um, again, at the end of the day, you have to feel comfortable with your decision. Um, and, and two, something to take into account is every breeder has his or her own ways of doing things. So, like how I do things is people come at week four to meet me and hang out with the puppies and things like this. And so, um, a week four is when you pick out your puppy. And what's nice is that you can tell that from, from day one, I mean, the puppies kind of look like guinea pigs. And so there's really, it would be hard to say this is the puppy I want based on, you know, they're only a few hours old or a few days old. And, and you know, they don't look at like as much as they would at four weeks and eight weeks, of course. So um, at week four, you know, they're moving around, their eyes are open. You know, of course, again, they're, they're walking and, you know, they're playing a little bit. And so um, you get a little bit more of the personality and stuff. Now, I believe all Bernese have the same temperament, you know, very sweet, very nice and things like this. And, uh, you know, of course, after you spay or neuter one, then they really are going to kind of settle in and, and kind of, you know, uh, you know, be close with you and your family and stuff. So a lot of it boils down to what features that you like. Now, there's different features that some people prefer over others. Um, some of the main ones are the blaze that goes between their eyes and their stripe, you know, between their eyes. A lot of people like a lot of white. Some people don't like as much white. Um, some people like white tip tail. Some people like white dipped feet or socks. Um, so there's things that you may look for that um, other somebody else may not like and stuff and you like you know you may like all three of them or may like one. Uh, maybe you've had Bernese in the past that had a lot of white so this time you want just a little bit. Um, it might be one of those things where uh, you don't really care what it looks like because you're just so happy with the Bernese personality and temperament. So again there's there's just things to take in, into account and so if you come to me and say Chris which puppy do you recommend for me? And I would say, really, it's up to you because I can say certain things and it might be something that I'm looking for, but it might be completely something that you're not looking for. And so, um, you know, really, I would avoid some things, though. Um, so like if a puppy has a lot of white all over its face or if it has blue eyes, those might be some things where, especially if you're going to show that you might say, you know, there might be something genetically or, you know, something there that I want to you know, possibly stay away from. Now, uh, granted. Uh, you know, the temperament's going to be the same, but, you know, if they are got some weird markings, they're not normal, uh, you know, it might raise a flag to say, hey, you know, I don't know. So, okay, so here we have a Bernese Mountain Dog puppy. And as you notice, she has a lot of white. And it might be something where, you know, you don't prefer a lot of white, or it might be something where you love white. So, 
you know, a lot of times if you're going to have, you know, one Bernese ever, you know, obviously you might want one that fits more of like, you know, a calendar quality dog or things like this. But, you know, looking for stuff around the blaze here, you know, if the white goes up and of course you're around the muzzle. And if you're going to show a dog, of course, there's regulations and rules on, you know, how far the white goes around the muzzle. Um, but some people like, you know, the white tip feet. Some people like the white tip tail. I know, huh? So again, it really just depends on what you're looking for in a new puppy. I mean, you may, you know, see one and say, that's the one no matter what, or you might say, no, you know, um, you know, one other, you know, another one draws your eye. Now, being a YouTube creator and photographer myself, you know, if I take one bad picture, then it really, you know, a lot of people don't want to look at that puppy because, you know, I took a bad picture. So sometimes with taking videos, you know, you can get the puppies looking a little cuter. So, So again, at the end of the day, when you're looking at videos, looking at pictures, or you're on site picking out your puppy, uh, a lot of it really is going to um, be determined on what you're looking for. Now, you know, obviously with us, we get a licensed vet check. And so, you know, with a licensed vet check, they're going to look for overbites and underbites and, and make sure everything looks like it's working and, and functioning as it should. So in, in the end, if everything looks good, it just really kind of comes down to finding that look that's going to, you know, work for you and your family. So, of course, uh, puppies are a big investment, and so you want to make sure you get the one that really is going to fit for you and your lifestyle. So, huh. so there you go. So, again, it just really depends on what you're looking for. Um, and, and, again, uh, after you've gone through the parent stuff and, you know, maybe you like what the parents look like and how big they are size-wise, um, really, it just depends on what you really want. Um, as you're watching the puppies interact, you might find one that you really like compared to another one. Um, if you're looking for a service or therapy dog, um, you know, again, it might be something where you're really drawn to one that's bigger um, and, and size and stuff like this. So there's a lot of things. And if you're looking at pictures and uh, picking a puppy through pictures or videos, I know it can be very hard. And so for me, I mean, I go out of my way to do whatever I can if I can send you know, videos and, and FaceTime, whatever I can with puppies um, and compare them so that way people can see their different sizes and things like this. So if you're able to go on site, um, obviously that's going to help you a lot to be able to choose out the puppy. So um, again, you know, make sure the parents have certifications, you know, make sure that everything's uh, good. Uh, and, and that's a whole nother video in itself because sometimes when you ask a breeder, hey, do you have certifications? I mean, you may get every excuse under the sun of why they don't need them or you know if it's not broke don't fix it um, and but most time with a reputable breeder as soon as you say hey do you have certifications i mean they point you right to where you can see them online uh, which is burner guard and uh, or the ofa and uh you know most reputable breeders are very proud of the work um, that they've done on their you know with their dog so um, if the parents check out and everything works great for you again it just really boils down to um, you know the look that you like if the puppy picks you and uh, if the last puppy is the one that's meant to be for you it kind of depends if, if you're okay with that you know uh, if you know like again I'm a very positive person and very Zen like I guess and so if uh, if one puppy's left then obviously it's meant to be for me so that's just how I choose a puppy myself well there you go another burner Tuesday and hopefully you learned a little bit and those are kind of my ideas about you know choosing the right Bernese mountain dog but at the end of the day, again, you have to feel comfortable with your decision. So um, I hope you like this video. If you do, please subscribe. Every subscriber matters to me, and I truly value your friendship. Um, of course, Fridays are Burner Fan Fridays, and so if you have questions about today's video or the Bernese Mountain Dog breed in general, um, you know, looking to adopt one and have questions, uh, please send me your questions at questions at BerniseOfTheRockies.com, and I promise I'll answer your question or try hard to find the answer for you. And I will uh, sometimes even just talk about them on the, on the show. So Burner Fan Fridays, you know, I talk about uh, whatever you want to talk about. So again, uh, hopefully you like this video. Please subscribe. Um, please look around here. Uh, you know, down below in the comment area, you can leave as many questions or comments or anything that you like. Um, you can join me on Facebook at facebook.com slash Rockies. Same thing with Instagram. And uh, if you have a burner, hug your burner and be blessed.